Today, we're going to look at the problem of aperture flicker as it pertains to DSLR filmmakers. Aperture flicker is a phenomenon of electronic zoom lenses with variable apertures at the open end. For the purposes of this explanation, let us consider the following Canon EF 28-135mm zoom lens. It will run open as low as f3.5 when at 28mm, but will close to f5.6 when the focal length increases to 135mm. Let's run the lens at its widest, 28mm, with the iris wide open at f3.5. Given the variable aperture, the lens will automatically stop down from f3.5 to f5.6 when zooming to 135mm, and it will stop up when the zoom action is reversed to 28mm. Problem is, the electronic iris does not stop down or up smoothly. The change between each f-stop is noticeably abrupt, causing a flicker in the exposure as one zooms. Now, you're probably saying, Wait, what if I simply stop down to f5.6 for the entire shot? That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? It certainly does and you'd be dead wrong. We stop down to f5.6 in this shot and the problem remains unchanged. But let's up the stakes even further. I stop the lens down to f9.1. Now there's absolutely no need for that lens to check whether it needs to stop down at this point. But it does so anyway! The problem lies in the hard-coded programming of the DSLR body, which checks at each of the critical stop-down points in the focal range to see if the aperture needs to be stopped down when you zoom, activating the iris servo for a split second, thereby causing the momentary darkening of the image. I list a few workarounds in a blog post to complement this video at Man with the 5D. But my favorite fix is to use an older manual aperture lens, such as this Tamron CF Macro 28-70mm, which stops down from f3.5 to f4.5 throughout its range, and it fits a Canon 5D Mark II with a simple adapter. Unlike an electronic aperture lens, most manual zoom lenses with variable max apertures, such as this Tamron, will smoothly stop down as you zoom, thanks to their beautiful mechanical engineering, not some little servo going bzz, bzz, bzz behind your back. Now with the Tamron on a 5D, the overexposed areas in red gradually reduce in overall exposure as the lens stops down to f4.5 at 70mm. Likewise, it increases in exposure when the zoom is reversed to the 28mm end at f3.5. Though there is a reduction in exposure, a well-executed shot should mask its presence. And unlike a lens with electronic aperture, you can simply stop down to f4.5 and not worry about a reduction in exposure or aperture flicker. Problem solved. 